person that did the procedure. Here's the person that uh, reviewed the procedure. Types of audit documentation files. Now, when we store our audit documentation, we're typically gonna have a client file and oftentimes it'll be grouped in two types of client files. We'll have a client file for the permanent files and then we'll have a client file for the current files. So this is current files, it's gonna be the uh, current information that we're working on, the current audit, the current year that we're gonna be working on. The permanent file, we're gonna have that type of information that's gonna be there for long periods of time. So when you think about these two types of files, if you're setting up your auditing system, you're setting up your system for clients in general, if you're public accounting, oftentimes you wanna think what types of files are gonna be there that aren't gonna change, that I wanna have in a permanent file, they're gonna be there for a long period of time. What type of files do I want to put in the current file? These are files that possibly if I do a yearly audit are gonna change each year. These are the things that are gonna change each year. And so that's a typical type of grooming. Permanent file type of activities, the corporate charter, obviously that's not gonna be something that's gonna change all the time. We put that in the permanent file. Uh, significant contracts, so if they're gonna be long-term contracts for a long period of time, we wanna have that in the permanent file. Possibly the chart of accounts, uh, the internal controls is something that uh, could be set up and established for a long period of time. Organ